Hi there, church family and friends. It is me again after uh, something like an eight week break back on the Moravian texts. And today our Sunday reading is Isaiah 35, verse 3 to 7. Now, the whole of Isaiah 35 is this beautiful poetic prophecy. It's about restoration. It's about redemption. It's about the hope that God will come and make things new again. And this passage, I suppose, as with much of the Old Testament, is written in the context of a suffering people. In this case, the people were in exile in Babylon. Uh, verse 3 Isaiah speaks God's words, God's heart to the people. And God says through Isaiah, I want you, I want all of you to strengthen the feeble hands of those around you, to strengthen the, the knocking knees. God is saying, look out for those around you who are gripped by fear and say to them, uh, say to them who are fearful in heart, be strong. God is on his way to save you. So for me today, this prophecy prompts me to look out for those around me who are fearful and speak out hope to them. You know, often when I was a school teacher, you'd be in the staff room and someone would be having a good old moan about how bad things were and, and everyone would just agree with them. And guess what impact that had on the culture of the place? It, it creates a hopeless, depressing culture. And so I would find myself... Well, sympathetically acknowledging that person's struggle, but then starting to speak out what is good about the place or about the class or about the person, to speak out words of life and hope for transformation. There is something so powerful about what we, God's people, speak out our words. And verse 5 there's this hinge point, this reflex point in the text when, when we speak hope to the fearful, it says, then, then blind eyes will be opened, then deaf ears unstopped, the, the lame will leap, the mute will shout for joy. It's a reflex. Even the land itself, the physical space in which they live, will be impacted as they proclaimed hope over their city and their nation. As a church, we totally believe in divine healing. It's what the scriptures teach. It's our experience, although we long for more of it, don't we? And so I'd really encourage you to speak out words of faith and hope over your life, over your body, over your finances, over your family, over your workplace, over your communities this day. Let your confession be God's truth. Let me give you an example to finish with, uh, because I'm not talking about like using God's word as a magic spell or, or being in denial of your situation. Um, I've been meditating on Matthew 6, 31. Jesus says, do not worry saying, what shall we eat, drink or wear? There's this emotional state, worry, and there's the confession that reflexes out of that, the proclamation, do not worry saying, what shall we eat, drink or wear? And it's okay to be honest with God. It's okay to say to God, God, I am tired, but I'm not going to let that tiredness define me. God, I'm tired, but I confess that you are my strength. You are my joy. Your spirit is bringing me to life. That is my confession based on your word. Oh God, I'm fearful. But today I confess that you hold me and you watch over me. You surround me and protect me according to your word. And of course, God is saying through the prophet Isaiah here that this is how we should speak to one another. Let that be our confession in community this day. Amen.